Hello guys and welcome back to YRN Motocast channel and today we have another review and it will be on the LCD 118 Pagani Waira Roadster BC so LCD released this model about a year ago I think it was and so far they have released four colors As you can see, I have the white one. LCD released four colors, all with the same number 20 livery and with the same red details. So they also did it in the original silver, the official launch pack car. And then they also did it in white, just like this. And they also have done uh, it in red and in orange. Now LCD has actually also announced a fourth color to be released soon, which will be silver again. However, it will be with uh, green details instead of the red and white. It will be with a green stripe. So everything that is red basically on, on this model will be green on the on that one. Um, and it will also have some additional green stripes along this line, I know, and I think the bottom one here too. Um, so yeah, but I, uh, I've got the white one, um, so before we begin, I do want to point out that the license plate that you can see behind the window here, and on the back of the model, those are my own custom license plates that I applied. Um, so yeah, under, under this one, there will be just a normal license plate holder with the Wire Roads to BC logo on it. Just like this one, but then printed on there behind it. So let's just start the review from the front. So of course this is the fully opening diecast model. So this is not a sealed model. This model is absolutely loaded with features. And so yeah, let's just start the review from the front. So looking at the front here. I I just quickly turned my light on so you can see that beautiful real mesh grill in the front it goes all the way through the whole thing which is really good to see but uh, yeah behind it there's not a crazy amount of detail or anything that you can see you do have the radiators on each side Now look at that carbon weave, it's absolutely beautiful finish on the carbon fiber by LCD, looks absolutely stunning. The white paint is just like a flat white, it's not really metallic or anything. We do have these DRLs, small DRLs on the bottom here, as you can see there. Just right over here, looks really good, and again more carbon fiber as well, on the canards. I really really like the look of this car, it looks so beautiful, and I really like it with the red details as well. Looks really really good and aggressive. Now the headlights, these are also done pretty nice. It even has a small label on the... On the, on the top of the top lights the details really good surrounded by carbon of course yeah it looks really good the red stripe and the white stripes also applied very nicely we also have of course the Pagani badge right there which is like a separate uh, piece like a separate deca really nice as well moving on to the sides then now these wheels are some of the best wheels and and just the overall wheels and tires these are the most detailed i've ever seen in person like on any model um, if you, as you can see the, the detail on the tires alone is absolutely amazing you have all these small text on it so you got the uh, Pirelli logo, P P0 uh, logo as well. On the top here you have the tire size and everything. 
There's some small text over there on the right as well. And some more down there. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And the tire thread as well. Pretty nice. Now, as for the wheels itself, really nice as well. Beautiful Pagani logo on the top. And you also have the Roads to BC down there. It's upside down right now. The center cap is uh, with the Pagani badge too. And these wheels are like a, a two-tone, like a diamond cut uh, kind of look. So you do have the silver and then the black for the rest of the model. There is also the valve stamp down there. And the brake discs also look pretty nice. Beautiful red calipers as well. And if I push the car forward, you can see that the disc does go through the caliper. So yeah, overall, this is absolutely amazing. We go entire detail. Really the best I've ever had. I mean, for example, BBR, sometimes they don't, they don't even have tire lettering or anything. Hardly any companies these days really have good tire lettering. Um, so yeah, this is definitely the best I've ever seen in person myself. Now, as for these mirrors as well, red on the on the right there, and then it's white on top and carbon down the bottom with a small Italian flag on the side as well. Really nice. This is the number 20 with the carbon details. Now you got the Pagani and PC logos on there as well. Yeah, really, really nice. The side skirt finished in carbon, of course. And if I quickly go to the other side, you can see also that these there is a small grill down there, which is perforated as well. Same for the one on the top here. Now you can see a little bit that the... If you look closely, you can see like the red paint. It's not really that perfectly finished off. Like, it's a bit rough. Um, but yeah, that, that's when you look at it up close, I mean. And especially with the light on, so that's not that bad. We do have the Ratio Pagani signature logo right there as well, which is a separate decal as well. Really nice. And again, the rear wheels here. Of course, here you can also see the... The small extra small like extra caliper on the, above the red one which is the handbrake yeah and then again the tire the tire detail is really amazing i'm really glad that lcd got the licensing for that now moving on to the back as you can see again amazing finishing with all the carbon fiber everywhere rear lights now i do have to point out that i actually discovered that my rear light over here as you can see it is slightly damaged like the surround for i'm not sure what happened but it looks like it became loose or it almost looks like it melted or something but um yeah this is really hard to fix i cannot really fix this i actually noticed this after like sometime after I already unboxed the model um, and I'm not sure if this is something happened that, that happened over time or if this is a factory de defect um, unfortunately I noticed it uh, quite some time after I bought it um, because it's such a small detail it's really hard to see with, with your own eye um, when you're just looking at the model I mean there's so many details that it's really easy to miss but um, yeah, overall, on this side, it's perfectly, fu perfectly fine. The rear lights do look really nice. You do you can see like almost the individual light bulbs in there, which looks really, really nice. You do have the separate decal for the Wira Roadster BC badging, which also looks really nice. And the whole diffuser is finished in carbon as well and this is full metal as well the whole uh, underside of the on, of the model is actually finished in metal there's no plastic uh, on the bottom here on, the, on this model which is really really nice for example the wire roadster by lcd the normal road wire roadster not the bc 
Uh, that one actually has a plastic rear diffuser and a plastic underbody, whereas this one, the Roadster BC, is full metal all around, which is really, really cool and really good to see by LCD. Now again, you got the rear mesh fully perforated as well, so you can see a bit of that exhaust as well, which we will take a bit better look at when we open it up. And the exhaust itself, the blue tips, looks absolutely stunning. Now as you can see, currently the arrow flaps are up. Now they can go down as you can see right there. And they stay up really nicely, they are quite firm, so that's really good. So now it's closed. The rear wing, full carbon as well. We have the third brake light under there too. Really nice. And yeah, as you can see, it's not a straight flat wing. It's actually the center part of the wing actually is slightly higher than on the sides. So it kind of goes up a bit, which is very realistic. And, and that should also be the case. Whereas on the uh, YRBC Coupe, it's a fully flat wing. Um, so yeah, very, very nicely done. Also on top of the engine cover, you can see a bit of the V12 AMG engine right there. You can see the V12 badge. And I think that is the... That might be the Afaltabak Mercedes logo, but I'm not entirely sure. We do have some more small text on the bottom as well. And the window itself looks pretty nice. Also the vents here are fully perforated. All of them. And again, full carbon finishing. There's the window, rear windows of the cabin. And the roof, also full carbon. Pirelli logo on the windshield as well. So let's open up this model and take a look at all the features that, that it has. Okay, so to start off with the features, um, as I already showed you, the rear arrow flaps are able to go up, and of course on the front as well. So these can go up. Now I don't particularly like the look of these being up like this. Um, but it is a very nice feature, and if you look at the under it as well, you can see some of the fans in there and some other parts and it is very realistically finished yeah so that is really nice now also next to the arrow flaps you do of course can also actually fold the mirrors in which is also the way that LCD packed it in the in the box. So as you can see, these mirrors, mirrors are able to fold in. To, I don't know, make it look like the, the car is in storage or something. Um, or parked on the street. Um, it is a nice feature, but yeah, as you can see, it looks a bit weird. I like to have it just in normal position. Now I have found that the screws that hold this in place, so as you can see this one is a little bit wobbly, so um, if you want to tighten that up so it doesn't wobble, like like for example this one is fully firm, um, there is a little screw underneath that you can tighten, but it's quite hard to access it properly, because of, yeah, I mean, the rest of the models in the way, the wheels, everything, so it's a bit hard, um, but it shouldn't be a problem. Um, so of course on all Pagani's first if you want to open the mod up you have to start with the doors however actually of course this is the roads to BC so we can take the roof off very easily it's actually held down with um, a magnet as you can see on the front there I think it's just one magnet actually on the front yeah it's just one magnet the one in the front here and the underside is just finished in matte black and there's not really anything that um, detailed about it and the top I've already shown you so we just put that on the side and now it's the car exposed so 
let's actually open up the doors so i like to push it in from the inside so i don't have to get a tool or anything in the door in the door gap because i don't really want to damage the paint or anything like that there we go all right so let's take a better look at that interior so to start off with the door cars you can see the doors are absolutely really nicely done so firstly of course all the carbon fiber then you have the like an orange actually um almost looks like a leather maybe it is on the real car and then on top you got like an alcantara look and this is actually it actually feels like a like a slightly soft material to the touch it's really nice you got road cbc on there and you have the italian flag uh, stitch actually i mean it looks really good got the door handle as well in orange and i think that red one is a window is the window switch i'm not entirely sure but i think that is um and also you have some speakers on the doors as well and some small door pockets um yeah i mean the detail on the doors alone is really really nice now as far as the interior look at that whole dash we do have that same alcantara material on the steering wheel on the side down the left as well the small pocket and on the inside of the window frame as well and the full dash too of course also with carbon you can see the air vents with the bc logos on them as well and the full floor finished in carbon and Pagani on the door sills, door sills of course carbon too. Yeah, look at that center console as well. And the gear selector too, it's really nice. I think that's wood on the gear selector as well. Steering wheel looks really good. Of course it steers with the wheels as well really nice yeah i mean overall it's absolutely amazing detail yeah now the only downside of the wire roads to bc by lcd is just the seats it's full plastic um yeah that's very very unfortunate it's made to look like leather but it's just a shiny plastic and it really takes away from the model and i don't really like this this is the major issue with this model it's just the seats way way too plasticky they did try to put these uh decals on which are actually like a yeah just a seat insert but yeah it's just a decal on a plastic seat and it doesn't look that particularly good now the seat belts are also looking more like a plastic than some type of cloth material but i mean yeah it looks all right it is a four point harness it does have a lot of detail on it as you can see but yeah i'm not a big fan of these seats now behind the seats you can see a little bit of storage things as well pagani badge down in the middle there now none of the storage compartments open up or anything so yeah so let's just move on to the front and rear clamshell so opening the front and rear clamshell is very easy it's just just pull it up and there we go it does hold up it does hold up pretty nicely now in the front yeah there's a lot of details you can see the hinge work on the front uh clamshell alone is really nice you can see more of those fans as well and yeah the detail is really amazing And you can see there's some of this suspension as well. So if I actually push down on the model, you might be able to see some of that suspension work. We can see a, take a better look at the suspension on the on the rear because it's more visible. Also the leather straps, the orange ones here. These are just plastic, of course, on this model. Um, but yeah, that is to replicate leather. Closing this down, also a very easy operation. 
it is held down with a few magnets i believe so that is good now let's open up the rear engine cover as well so opening this up so you have to pull it up and then slightly forward there we go and then further up and as you can see it also holds pretty well now the on the side is actually carbon except for the the uh, the part that goes uh, like around the wheels it's just matte black other than that it's all carbon really nice now look at this engine detail it's absolutely amazing detail it looks so good there's so many to see here so much to see here you can see the uh, the engine pagani on it as well you can see a bit of that amg v12 and other than that a lot of structural parts and you can see the suspension as well which looks really realistic you can see that exhaust system back there too just call it a little bit blue looks really amazing and you can see the hinge as well for the engine cover and again even on the inside of the tires it's it's it has details as well so it's not just on the outside but it's actually on the inside as well it's so realistic so amazingly detailed so if i push down on the model you, you will see the way that the springs work it's so realistic it's absolutely amazing really well done yeah so we can open up these um storage compartments on the sides as well you can also see here the way it opens up very realistic so let's open up these storage parts so these are actually um, held down with these plastic straps which are also supposed to be leather so let me just put the camera down and i'll show you how to do it so to open them you have to actually first pull the leather strap out of the small metallic um holder right here so now now that it is undone you can open up it's a bit hard with the tool you can open it up and on the inside it has a, there is a suitcase which we can take out but it's a bit hard to take out properly there we go i just pulled it out with this small tool now this is a pretty nice bag um but yeah there's no Pagani logos or anything on this, and it's just a plastic bag, so it's not that special. Now, put it back in. It is a very tight fit for this, but it does fit. And closing it back down is basically the same operation. Make sure that to pull up the leather strap, close it down. And then I like to use my finger for this because you can better better guide the strap into the holder. There we go. So now it is back into place. And the hinges as well, you can see down here, it's very realistic. And the whole operation is it's just like the real thing. And it's the same on the other side as well, of course. So that was basically it for all the features. So we can close it back down. and yeah you have to close it back down and then push it towards the back there we go and then you can move further down and that's how you properly close that part and then of course we can close off the doors and put the roof back on very nice all right so that's the um pagani wire roads to bc by lcd so overall this is an absolutely amazing model and it's definitely worth the original retail price of um which was less than 300 euros actually 
so yeah it's absolutely amazing i'm very very happy with it despite the small issues that i pointed out with the real light there but other than that it's really nice um also there is a small chip in the carbon right there again i'm not sure if that is factory or if somehow that happened because of me or but um yeah i'm very happy with the model now you do have to take note that um the, f the front and rear clamshell hinges tend to loosen quite easily i i don't even open my models regularly but every maybe once a month i open one of my models up just to admire the model basically um, and I found that on this model the front and rear clamshell hinges tend to loosen quite easily So you do have to tighten them every now and then um, To make sure that they stay up normally So let me know what you think of this model guys um, There are still some available for sale um, Not for that crazily expensive So I, I'd say it's definitely worth it If you don't have one already and you want a model like this um, LCD actually also announced to do Pagani Imola as well, which is really looking forward to that, and also the Pagani Utopia and the Huayra, and the Huayra R as well. So yeah, I might be getting some of those as well. So um, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram link will be down below. You can see more of this car as well as all my other models. Um, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.